And another perspective tonight coming from inside our hospitals and the incredible strains on the staff working to save lives. CBS 4's Hank Tester spoke with the CEO of Baptist Health, South Florida. Here we are leading this parade. With April, a thank you for the medical staff, Baptist Health's Doctors Hospital, Coral Gables. That was then. This day, the hospital group's chief operating officer. This is the peak back in April, and this is now. This is how many admissions that we're having to our hospitals with COVID diagnosis. It is double what it was at the beginning of April. The novelty of thank you events, jet flyby salutes fading across the country. We're now in a coronavirus marathon, a grueling endurance challenge at Baptist Health. This is emotionally taxing, physically taxing. We have asked for the state to um, assist us with finding additional staff. And we have recently contracted with a firm to bring in 100 nurses from out of the state that'll be here next week to provide some much needed relief to our people uh, who, are, who are getting tired. The Baptist Hospital Group still has capacity, but maintaining that status is all about staffing, not necessarily the number of actual beds. Beds they have. The 200 additional staffers will be welcome. The hospitals have X number of capacity, and that capacity is really defined by your capacity to staff patient beds with uh, appropriate ratio of nurses and caregivers to patients. It's the ability to grow into those beds, to utilize those beds if you had enough staff. Again, April scenes like this at Baptist, they're welcome, certainly for those who are recovering and for the staff and administration. Simply put, more room for the next victims of the pandemic. We faced a lot of challenges uh, over the years. Uh, there's no particular playbook for that. this one, which makes it um, particularly stressful. But um, I, I sleep well because we've got a great group of people. I mean, like other hospital administrators in South Florida, Baptist officials concerned about just exactly what's going to go down in the next two weeks. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News tonight.